So now we will multiply mixed numbers. Now, when you multiply mixed numbers, you must change the mixed numbers to an improper fraction first and then multiply. If you forgot how to change mixed numbers to improper fractions, let's do a little refresher. So let's look at this mixed number. We have 4 and 1 third. And we want to change this mixed number to an improper fraction. So we're going to make the circle. We're going to always start down here at the denominator. Our first step is to multiply. Then after we multiply, then we're going to add, and then we're going to place it over the same denominator we started with. So we're going to start down here. We're going to do 3 times 4, and that gives us 12. Then we're going to add 1, and that gives us 13. So 13 is going to be the top of my fraction. And then I'm going to put it over the same denominator I started with, which is 3. So 4 and 1 third, when we change that to an improper fraction, it becomes 13 over 3. So hopefully I've refreshed your memory on how to change mixed numbers to improper fraction because you do need to know that in order to multiply mixed numbers. So now let's try some. I've put this back here at the top because once you've changed the, the mixed numbers to improper fractions, then you go back to top times top over, bottom times bottom. Now before we can do this problem, we do need to change our mixed numbers. So we're going to make the circle. We're going to start by, change, by starting at the 2. So we're going to do 2 times 7, which is 14. Then we're going to add 1, and that gives us 15. And then we're going to put 15 over the same denominator we started with. So we're going to put 15 over 2. And now we need to change this mixed number to an improper fraction. So we're going to start here at the bottom. We're going to do 3 times 8, and that gives us 24. Then we're going to add 2, and that gives us 26. And then we're going to put 26 over 3. Now we're going to multiply. Now before we do top times top over, bottom times bottom, we do need to simplify our diagonal. So let's see. 15 and 3. Well, 15 and 3 can both be divided by 3. So 15 divided by 3 is 5, and 3 divided by 3 is 1. Now we're going to look at our other diagonal and see if that can be simplified. And 2 and 26 can both be divided by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, and then 26 divided by 2 is 13. So now we're going to do top times top. So 5 times 13 is 65. And then bottom times bottom, 1 times 1 is 1. Well, if I have a whole number over 1, then it simply equals the whole number, which is 65. So this answer is 65. So let's do another one. Again, we have mixed numbers, and before we can multiply them, we have to change them to improper fractions. And to do that, we're going to make the circle. So we're going to start here, and we're going to do 3 times 1, and that gives us 3. Then we're going to add 1, and that gives us 4. And then we're going to put 4 over 3. Then we're going to come here. We're going to do 2 times 10, which is 20. Then we're going to add 1, which is 21. And then we're going to put 21 over 2. So now we're going to multiply these together. Again, we're going to look at our diagonals to see if they can be simplified. I'm going to look at 4 and 2. They can both be divided by 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 2 divided by 2 is 1. Now I'm going to look at 3 and 21. They can also be simplified. They can both be divided by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 21 divided by 3 is 7. So now we're going to do top times top. 2 times 7 is 14 over bottom times bottom. 1 times 1 is 1. Again, I have 14 over 1, which simply equals 14. So my final answer is 14. So now it's your turn. I want you to try number 1 and number 2 on your own. Pause the video. Go ahead and try these two problems. Then when you're done, unpause, come back, check to see how you did. So go ahead and stop the tape now. So, hopefully you went ahead and did number one and number two on your own, which is great. So let's see how you did. 
So let's do number one together. So of course, I have to change my mixed numbers to improper fractions first before I can multiply them. So I need to do 6 times 8, which is 48, plus 1 is 49, and then I put 49 over 6. Then I need to also change this, 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9, and then I need to put 9 over 4. I want to check to see if my diagonals can be simplified. 49 and 4 cannot be simplified, but 9 and 6 can both be divided by 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2, and 9 divided by 3 is 3. Now we're going to do top times top over bottom times bottom. Now we need to find what is 49 times 3. I don't know it off the top of my head. I'm sure you did it, so let's work it out. So if we do 49 times 3, 3 times 9 is 27. Bring down the 7, carry the 2. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 is 14. So that equals 147. And then 2 times 4 is 8. My answer is an improper fraction. I cannot leave it as an improper fraction, so I do need to divide so that I can change it to a mixed number. And I want to see how many times does 8 go into 147. So I'm going to divide 8 into 147. Well, I don't know how many times 8 can't go into 1, but 8 does go into 14 one time. 1 times 8 is 8. Subtract and I get 6, bring down the 7. 8 goes into 67 8 times. 8 times 8 is 64. Subtract and you get 3. So now I have a remainder of 3 and I'm going to put it over 8. So this equals 18 and 3 eighths. So if you got 18 and 3 eighths, excellent job. You got it correct. Give yourself a hand. So now let's move on to 7 eighths times 2 and 2 thirds. Now I'm going to erase this last one just to give myself more space. But if you need to see it again, all you have to do is rewind. So now we're going to do 7 eighths times 2 and 2 thirds. So this is already a fraction. It's not a mixed number, so I don't need to do anything to it. So hopefully you left this one alone. But this is a mixed number, and we do need to change this. So we're going to have to change that to an improper fraction. In order to do that, we're going to make the circle. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. So I'm going to put 8, and I'm going to put it over 3. So now I'm multiplying 7 eighths times 8 thirds. I need to see, can my diagonals be simplified? If I look, 7 and 3 is already in its simplest form, but 8 and 8 can both be divided by 8. 8 divided by 8 is 1, and this 8 divided by 8 is also 1. So now I can do top times top over, bottom times bottom. 7 times 1 is 7, and 1 times 3 is 3. Again, I have an improper fraction, and I cannot leave my answer that way. So I'm going to have to divide. 7 goes inside the house, and 3 goes outside. 3 goes into 7 2 times. 2 times 3 is 6. Subtracting, you get 1. So I have a remainder of 1, and I put it over 3. So this equals 2 and 1 third. I'm going to check to see if my answer is in its simplest form, and it is. So hopefully you got an answer of 2 and 1 third. If you did, great job. You got it correct. <clears throat> so now let's do a word problem. Again, read the word problem on your own. I want you to try it by yourself. Pause the video. Do the word problem. Make sure you use cutie pat, underlining the question, circling the important information, finding the clue word. Once you've done that and you've solved the problem, then unpause the tape and check back with me to see how you did to see if you got it correct. So go ahead and pause the tape now. So, great. Hopefully you went ahead, did this problem all on your own. So now let's see how you did. So, let's read it. A quilt pattern uses a square with seven and a half inch sides. Patty wants to make each side two-thirds of the pattern's length. What will be the dimension of each side? So I need to find my question. What will be the dimensions of each side? I need to find my data. I know that 
the pattern uses a square with seven and a half inch sides. And I know that Patty wants to make each side two thirds of the pattern. Now, I need to find my clue word. In this problem, because they're asking about the dimensions of each side, and they tell me that she wants to make each side two thirds of the length, then we know that we have a fraction of something. So of is my clue word, which means we're gonna have to multiply. So I'm gonna have to multiply seven and a half times two thirds. Now, my seven and a half is a mixed number, so I do need to change this to an improper fraction before I multiply, and hopefully you did that. So, we're gonna make the circle, two times seven is 14, plus one is 15, and then I put 15 over two, and then I multiply that by two thirds. Again, I wanna look at my diagonals to see if they can be simplified. 15 and three can both be divided by three. 15 divided by 3 is 3, and 3 divided by 3 is 1, and then 2 and 2 can be divided by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, which means 2 divided by 2 down here will also be 1. So now I'm going to multiply top times top, 3 times 1, which is 3, over bottom times bottom, 1 times 1, which is 1, which tells me that my answer will be 3. So what will be the dimensions of each side? Each side will be three inches, okay? Hopefully you got that one correct. Hopefully you've learned something during this lesson. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me next time you see me. Um, also, you can go through this tape as many times as you need to until you've gotten it on your own.